Joining Arlo, Lee and Graham right now, pitch side is Pep Guardiola. Rebecca, thank you. Pep, thanks for joining us. What's it like watching yourself on the highlights on the big screen there after such a big game? What a handsome man. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were saying on commentary as well, Pep. Oh, yeah. How, I mean, after a game like that, which you felt in control of in the first half and then maybe it got away with from you a little bit in the second, what's your overriding emotion at, at a 2-2 draw? Well, first of all, the game, that's why the Premier League is the best league in the world. <laughs> so, what a game, what atmosphere. Anfield is a, is a special, special place, we cannot deny it. So, we come back twice. Uh, we play incredible first half, especially the 50 to 45 minutes was wow. I don't know in Anfield can so an open and play with this especially personality. We spoke many times when we come here today again. So, well, you don't have courage to play, and you see it's scary for the environment here. You don't have chance. And the way Bernardo played, Rodri played, and Kyle Walker, everyone, central defenders, and everyone was was really good. So yeah, unfortunately we could not win, but we didn't lose. It's not another step for the, this uh, tough Premier League. But yeah, very pleased for the week we played. We spoke before the game, we spoke about your number nine and the rotation of the front three. Can you just explain a little bit about how you want players to move into space and what the reason for that is with the no, opponent? We, we, we want Jack his ability in smaller spaces to have the ball, to control it, and we didn't find him much uh, because the structure defensive from Liverpool is really good, so good, and it was not easy. And uh, yeah, we could play for Ander or Gabriel, but Gabriel now I prefer to play inside than in the middle. So, you know, sometimes I take a decision, sometimes, you know, before, and I don't know, sometimes it's right, sometimes wrong, but in general, the team was excellent in, in all, all departments. I thought, as you said, after 15 minutes, I thought you took complete control of the game. And then at half time, you think you'd need to be 1 0 up. You go into the second half. In that second half, did you feel the change? Did you feel Liverpool starting to get Listen, back in? Against, against these opponents, this for me, absolutely. I play many times against Jurgen teams, and especially this one is the best three teams in the world. Mm -hmm. So when you have these 45 minutes, you have to take advantage, yeah. not just for one goal, for margin. Mm -hmm. And I said to the half time, so forget about it, now you're going to suffer. Yeah. So momentum, Anfield momentum always is there. Uh, they score a goal and after five minutes they are there, it looks like, oh, maybe we are losing 4-0 for the way they are <laughs> shooting up. So it's always difficult, but it's not easy for a team like was, like Paris, for example, again, we were incredible, much, much better and we lost 2-0. Yeah. So when we are 1-0, we, we were there. And after one more, we were there. Mm -hmm. And that means, ah, guys, we're a great team. Yeah. So because the great teams, it, it looks in the bad moments and when the way they lose, we lose in Paris as a great team yeah. and today we come back as a great team and that is for Man City, is, uh, I'm very proud. Well, what a week you've had, Chelsea yeah. away, Paris Saint-Germain away, Liverpool away, one win, one loss, one draw. How do you feel coming the out way of we that played, week? The way we played was, wow, was yeah. so good. The way we played all three games was good. Mm. Unfortunately. In, in Paris, we could not take result, and but you know, Stamford Bridge and Anfield, and, and don't lose is, is nice, but especially the way, mm -hmm. the way. So the memories always remain. Titles are numbers, you know, and but the memories are the way you came here. I will remember that. So like last season, come here. Even the the years when we came and we lost, for incredible actions, for the momentum from Liverpool. Always we were with a huge personality, and that is the great teams have to show. And do you think that that's really what you're looking for, is that is that pride of being able to dig in when things aren't going well, when you go a goal behind to show that character? Is that what gives you the real feeling of how good this team is? You, you, you know that when everything is going well, 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, everyone is, is Maradona. So the problem is when there are problems, and that is when you have to show it. And, and we are a team that the last year's show many, many times, and, and that is still, we're going to do it. The team were fantastic, were fantastic. Pep, you're as enthusiastic as ever, aren't you, about the Premier League, about yeah, being Manchester City manager? I love it. You yeah. see it, it just exudes in your body language. Yeah, yeah. I love it, I like it, yeah. <laughs> Good, good. We <laughs> appreciate it as well. Thank pretty you, good, guys. Pretty good at interviews and a very handsome man. Yeah, that's for <laughs> <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> My wife will still say the same. Yeah. <laughs> Ciao, guys. Pep, thanks very much. <laughs> 
Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.